how to load your boat on your Harbor Freight boat trailer. Dang, a boat. Freaking bird pooped on my... Oh, man. Anyway, first thing you need to do is just load the trailer onto the truck or on whatever unit you're going to... your car or whatever. That's the first thing. I love these little lightweight John boats because you can just pick them up and just haul them. You know, you can just move them. So, first thing you're going to do is just push it up there. And then we're going to get our, uh, you want to line it up, have it on the truck or your car or whatever you're going to haul it with. And you're going to take this fella here. That's why you had this thing. Hook that sucker up about like that. And then, yeah. And what we're gonna do is just put that front end up like that, just like that. Okay. Uh, this thing is really too small for that. So now if you got some if you got some big honking boat, this ain't gonna work, right? But for these little John boats, it works actually pretty well. And so you're just gonna winch it on here. Now I wondered what this was gonna be like. I thought that those uh bunks are gonna So, well, those bunks are riding right on those ridges, which is what I didn't want. But you know, that's about as wide as we could make it, and we can we, we can make it work, uh, no problem. It, it ain't gonna be no, it won't be anything. We'll be able to handle it. So now you got that. You take your time. Don't. You, you can't rush stuff like this. Take your time, especially if you're just doing it by yourself. Boy, that's annoying. I hate that sound. Okay, well, but... Now, if you had it tilting, you could just do it a whole lot faster, actually. So now what you can do, if you really want, as you got the front end on there, if you had a second partner, you could just pick that sucker up just like that and just push it on up there. Just like that. Now we got to see where we are, though. Okay. Thought I had that clicked off. But... Alright, so now we just continue to... And see... The reason you keep this on there is so to keep it from falling back down while you're loading it, that's all. Seriously. Oh goodness. Just take up take, again. Take your time and just and just get it done. And that's all it takes. See how I was already centering it. See how I was doing. Okay, now it's on there now. We got to adjust and see how it's just done. See how it is. It has, uh, uh oh. Somebody that doesn't feel right. It's only 
or something. It's gone down. So it's riding a lot higher than it used to. That's all it is. And we're going to take this guy and bring him further, much, much further back. It's just riding a lot higher than it used to. But that's okay. See what I mean about the boat being lightweight? Okay. Make sure that it's on those ridges. It ain't going to stay on those ridges like that. I can tell you that right now. May need to just take it off, bring them in a little bit, and just see what we can do. Okay, and just see what we can do. And without a doubt, we're gonna have to take this guy and raise him up a lot higher. Probably raise him up to about right here. So we can get this guy here. And this guy is going to need to be brought back, way on back, about right up in here. About right here. Somewhere about right in here. Won't take long to do that. But I think that's a whole lot healthier for the boat itself. The whole. See where we are here. But for demonstration purposes, there is the boat on the trailer, the Harbor Freight trailer with the new bunks, and uh, we're getting there. Let me know what you think. All right. Talk to you guys later.